From Amateur Radio Newsline Report, number 2220, these are the Ham Nation headlines for Wednesday, May 20th, 2020. In North Carolina, a group of radio operators has formed to enjoy the twin interests of radio and astronomy. You might say that the destiny of this new amateur radio club was in the stars because, well, that's why it was formed in the first place. It's called Astronomy Meets Amateur Radio, and it's the outgrowth of a recent Zoom meeting by members of the Raleigh Astronomy Club in North Carolina. Four of those attending were amateur radio operators, and according to Mark Gibson in 4MQU, a new universe was born, one that combines amateur radio and amateur astronomy. Mark expects the group to combine star-watching parties at night with radio operations. Mark says the Facebook group has been growing since it was created a couple of weeks ago, and the members have also created a group on groups.io. As he notes on the group's homepage, quote, a large field is the perfect place to set up a radio, and it's also a perfect place to set up a telescope, end quote. There is a place to register for the group on their website. You can find a link to the group's homepage in the printed version of this script on Amateur Radio Newsline website at arnewsline.org. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Jack Parker, W8ISH. The COVID-19 pandemic has led to yet another cancellation of a big event, this one for the younger generation of radio enthusiasts. The 10th running of the Youngsters on the Air Summer Camp, which was to be hosted by the Croatian Amateur Radio Association between the 8th and 15th of August, has been called off for this year. The camp is to be rescheduled for 2021 when it will be hosted by the Croatian Amateurs. Meanwhile, SOS Radio Week continues through the end of May, coinciding with the Royal National Lifeboat Institute's May Day fundraising event in the UK. Be listening for special event operators, most of whom will be working from home. Call signs include GB2LBC, GB0SOS, and MX0SKR. For more details, visit sosradioweek.org.uk. Operators in Sweden are also going ahead with their plans for the Portable Amateur Radio Contest scheduled for Saturday, May 17th. Operators will be on HF using SSB and CW for both single operator and multi-operator amateur radio stations between 0700 and 1100 UTC. Those who take part in the multi-operator class are being asked to follow the recommendations issued by the authorities regarding keeping distance from one another. Get ready for a special contest among YLs, one being done for a very special reason. YLs around the world are gearing up for a special contest this month that is also a memorial to a friend. The Day of the YLs contest will be held on the 24th and 25th of May in memory of Karine Dubois, F5ISY, who created the contest but who died last November before her dream could come to fruition. The contest permits operation on SSB, CW and RTTY. According to Jenny Jones, M0HZT, one of the organisers, awards will be issued to all participants, including shortwave listeners, whose contacts have earned them 33 points or more. Details about the scoring and the frequencies can be found on the group's Facebook page. All logs must be submitted no later than the 30th of June. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Jeremy Boot, G4NJH. And a reminder that the nominating period for the 2020 Bill Pasternak WA6ITF Newsline Young Ham of the Year Award is now open. You'll find the form on our website, arnewsline.org, under the Awards tab. The award will be presented Saturday, August 22nd at the Huntsville Ham Fest in Alabama. And that's all from the Amateur Radio Newsline, your independent source for amateur radio news for four decades and counting at arnewsline.org. With Jack Parker, W8ISH, Jeremy Boot, G4NJH, Karen Eve Murray, KD2GUT at the news desk in New York, and our news team across the globe. I'm Don Wilbanks, AE5DW73. We'll see you next time here on Ham Nation.